Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Jeff at Lockdown Security, LockdownSecurity.ca, and I'm bringing you a video today on a 2016 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid that we just installed a uh, brand new for 2016-2017 CompuStar First Tech FT DC2 configured as an alarm start. Now this product is brand new. Uh, the DC2 literally was just released. We literally, literally just got our first shipment last week. And uh, its claim to fame is it's a low current vehicle specific remote start or alarm and start. And in this case, we configured it with the DC2S start it package, but we configured it as an alarm start and added a siren. And what's cool about it is that you can use on many different applications, T harnesses. They don't have a T harness yet for the RAV4, but uh, we understand that there is one coming. Uh, so in this case, we did hardwire it to the vehicle. I'm going to show you a couple of things. I want to show you the uh, extremely small size of the controller, so the brain that goes underneath the dash. I want to show you uh, what Drone Mobile works like because we installed a Drone Mobile smartphone control. This is the, the computer platform I'm just testing everything with. And then I also want to show you how it works with the OEM key fob. So let's go through how it works with the OEM key fob first. So this guy here is the Toyota RAV4 key fob. Uh, it's a proximity key because the vehicle is pushed to start. Uh, what's cool about this vehicle is to remote start it, you literally hit the lock button three times. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. Lock, lock, lock. Now you may have heard the siren chirping there when I did that. That is because we have also configured to control the aftermarket alarm with this key fob too. When you lock it, it chirps the siren. When you unlock it, it chirps the siren. And uh, when the alarm is triggered, it'll beep the horn and the siren, which I will show you through the drone mobile platform in a moment. If I wanted to, I could shut it off with this. Lock, lock, lock. Now, one of the things to note with the Toyota RAV4 and other Toyota Lexus push to start vehicles is that there is no takeover sequence. So I'm gonna restart it again. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by no takeover sequence. So because the vehicle is a hybrid, the vehicle is now started, it's on. The engine will turn on shortly, automatically. The hybrid drivetrain controls that. But when it comes to takeover, what happens right now, if I walk up to the vehicle, I'll show you on the dash. As soon as I open the door, the vehicle shuts off. So in effect, you'd have to get in afterwards and restart the car. Now I haven't put the vehicle back together, so you're gonna see I have a bit of a mess on the floor here, but let me just show you a couple of things. So. For testing purposes, I have the drone module hanging down. I just needed to verify the LED patterns. Uh, this here, though, is the, actually while I'm on video here, I'm just gonna run this up and attach it to my mounting location. So that is now mounted. This is the DC2 controller. So here's my hand. There's the DC2. So you can see it's, it's smaller than the palm of my hand which is incredible because a lot of times these things are way larger than this and they're hard to find places to mount. In this case, I'm gonna tuck it up right up there next to the fuse box or the, um, the body control module and it's gonna be a nice fit. You can see the wires are all cleanly plugged in on the edges uh, and then there's a wiring schematic on the bottom. Uh, in this particular install, we did use the famous Tessa tape uh, it's kind of hard for you to see because it's dark, but it just makes the install look much cleaner, much more OEM, and it'll hide everything under the dash much better. Again, it's a bit of a mess in here because I'm not done, but once it uh, is all put back together and cleaned up, all the wire bits will be taken out. You wouldn't even know that we were in this vehicle. So let me just close up the door and I'm going to show you the drone. So when we activate drone, we do it through a Windows-based PC, or sorry, not Windows-based PC, through the internet, I should say. And I'm just gonna do a couple of things. So uh, let's try doing the trunk. If I hit this button, I should be able to see the trunk open. Re vehicle receive the command. And there we go, the trunk is opening. This vehicle has the power hatch option, so we were able to tie into that. If I go back to the trunk button, and I hit it again, we can close the truck. Now you can do all of this through your smartphone, Android or iPhone via the drone app. Uh, and if you have an Apple watch, you can do it through your Apple watch as well. Uh, let's go to lock. There we 
go. Receive the block command. And lastly, let's go to engine start, engine stop. So receive the command and the vehicle is going to start right up. So it's pretty cool. You have pretty much worldwide range with Dro Mobile. You'd be able to start and stop this vehicle from anywhere, lock or unlock the doors if you had to, open and close the trunk, as well as if the alarm triggers, uh, it will give you a full alert to your smartphone that the alarm has triggered. So one thing to note is with drone, you can't turn the car off uh, after starting it via the app. You have to wait at least a minute. So if I hit this button again, it's probably gonna come back with an error. Let's just see what it does here. So there we go, it errored out, and that's because I didn't wait the full minute between commands with remote start. So if I simply hit lock, 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 the vehicle will shut down. So that concludes this video. That's uh, the brand new DC2 from CompuStar. It's gonna revolutionize the remote start and security market. It already has, and uh, we are very excited to be able to carry this product. Uh, pairing it with a drone or your OEM key fob gives you the best of all worlds, you don't have to carry an extra remote and you get a full two-way alarm start with worldwide range. I'm Jeff from Lockdown Security. Thank you for watching this video. If you could like this video, it'd be greatly appreciated. And if you could subscribe to our page or our YouTube channel, I should say, it goes a long way to help us make more videos like this in the future. Thanks, have a great day.